All right, Shalom. It's the brother Malak coming back at you with this truth. First and foremost, we want to start off by saying Brakate Yahweh, Brakate Yahweh Shai, Brakate Yahweh, Brakate Yahweh Shai, Brakate Yahweh, Brakate Yahweh Shai. Call Haloyim La Abanawa Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai Ba'ashim Arakah Kodash. And double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone who well. Peace and blessings and salutation to the whole full elect, the Bayah, Dawada, the house of David. All right, so we just go jump right into it. I'll entitle the video after, brothers. You know. Well, let's just go right here. This is First Peter 2 and 17. It says, Honor all men. Love the brotherhood. Fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And honor the king. So, <laughs> is that not self explanatory? You're supposed to love the brotherhood, man. Not forsake the brotherhood, but love the brotherhood. You know? You're supposed to love the brotherhood because you learn. From each brother, knowledge from each brother, man. Each brother have their own set of knowledge that was given to him, or wisdom and understanding that was given to him of the Most High. So you can learn off of each other. That's why the Lord said, "Love one another." You know, love one another, show one another love and, and, and brotherly love, man. At that. All right, so let's go down to some cross references. It says this, First Peter 5 and 5. It says, likewise, ye younger, right? Ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Yeah, all of you, be subject. Be subject. Be subject. One to another. One to another. And be clothed with humility. You mean you got to be down, down to earth, man. Humble. Right? For the most high resisteth the proud. The most high don't deal with somebody who's proud, man. Who's got a puffed up head, puffed up mind. Thinking that they're better than you, man. Oh, I, brother, I know more than you. I'm better than you, you know. Nah, man. Okay. And giveth grace to the humble. And giveth grace to the humble, man. All right. Let's continue to move on, man. Romans 12 and 10 says, be kindly affectionate one to another with brotherly love and honor preferring one another right so if a brother who's in a brother who's who's right right brother who's right okay hey man you gotta be brotherly to him man who's, who's showing charity who's showing who's, who's doing charitable acts man who's helping man who's doing things of that nature you know, being kind to the brothers, man. You know, that's brotherly love, man. You know, Romans 13 and 7. Rendered, therefore, all their duty, all their dues, tribute to, to uh, tribute to whom tribute is due. Right. Custom to whom custom. Fear to whom fear and honor to whom honor. All right. Philippians 2 and 3, it says, let nothing be done through strife and vain glory. Let nothing be done through strife and vain glory. That's some, that's some BS of the world, man. When you come into this truth, you're supposed to, uh, you're supposed to, uh, 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 wash your mind of that filth, man. All right. You're supposed to wash your mind of that filth. That shit is still of the world. Okay. Still of the world. It says, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem other better than themselves. Right? Okay? You don't put yourself on some high pedestal, man. Okay? Oh, well, I'm better than, you know, better than you, brother. You know, you know, and this and that. No. Okay? Like, you just say, man, listen, man, I'm humble and thankful for... Having this beautiful knowledge and wisdom that I've obtained of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, and continue to keep learning, you know, and continue to keep growing, continue to keep adding wisdom onto the repertoire. Okay? All right. Let's see here. We got more. All right. Oh, oh, wow. This is uh, 1 Peter from 1 and 22. It says, seeing ye have purified your souls in obeying the truth 
through the spirit unto unfringed love of the brethren, unto unfringed love of the brethren, see that ye love one another with pure heart fervent. With a pure heart fervent. All right. It says John 13 35. Listen to this. It says, By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if ye love one another. If you have if you have love one to another, right? Hebrews 13 and 1. Let brotherly love continue. Let brotherly love continue, man. You know? Let brotherly love continue. Okay? See? So if a brother is calling out for help. Right? And you shun them away or you forsake them. Is that really brotherly love? Or is that kind of like, you know what, man, he, you know, get to him at a you know, later date, later time. You know, you need that brother, you know. That brother going to be all right. That's going off. That's going off. You know? You know, it's going off, man. All right, so that's just like, hey, what Yahweh Shai said. Well, let's go to what Yahweh Shai said, man. Go to Matthew, the 25th chapter. Let's go to Matthew, the 25th chapter. Matthew, 25th chapter, and the 35th verse. It says, For I was hungered, and ye gave me meat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me drink. I was a stranger, and ye took me in. Naked, and ye clothed me. I was sick, and ye visited me. I was in prison, and he came unto me. Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, when uh, when saw we thee at hunger and fed, and fed thee, or thirsty and gave thee drink? When saw we uh, when saw we thee a stranger and took thee in, or naked and clothed thee? Or when saw we thee sick or in prison and came unto thee? And the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, and so in as so much as ye have done it unto one of these least of these my brethren, ye have done it unto me. So you gotta watch your ass, man. Okay? Okay? If you did it to when you did it to one of the brothers, it means you did it to the Lord, man. Okay? If you shun away a brother, hey, amen, you doing it to the Lord then, man. You shun away a brother, you did it to the Lord. Okay? Okay? All right? Let's go to the word forsake, man. The word forsake is to oppose, to refuse, deny, or give up, or renounce completely. Right? Okay, well, we, hey, you know what, brother? We believe that the brother, you know, he, you know, he's just not, he's not right. We believe, but you, hey, listen, the Lord, the Lord knows what's in that brother's heart, man. Okay? The Lord does the chastising and the jacking up and all those things. He, if he love you, if he has true love for you, he will, just like a son, you whoop your son's ass, right? That means you truly have love for your son when you whoop his ass, man, when you chastise him, man. You don't have no love for him if you don't chastise him. Okay? It says, uh, it says completely to struggle, dispute, wrangle, occur, uh, accuse, right? Blame. <laughs> okay? Leave someone who needs or counts on you. Leave in the lurk. <laughs> <sighs> oh man let's go back to let's go to uh, Luke 15 and 4 
Luke 15 and 4 says this. This is a parable of the Lord. Now he says this. Matter of fact, let's just read from the top. The point is in verse 4. It says, Then draw near unto him all the publicans and sinners, publicans and sinners, for to hear him. And the Pharisees and the sheep and the scribes murmured, saying, This man receiveth sinners and eateth with them. And he spake the parable unto them, saying, What man of you, what man of you, having a hungered sheep, if he if he's law if he loses one of them, doeth not leave the ninety and nine in the wilderness and go after that which is lost until he find it. And when he hath found it, he layeth it on his shoulders, rejoicing. And when he cometh home, he calleth together his friends and neighbors, saying unto them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep which was lost. Right. It says, I say unto you that likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repenteth more than over ninety, over ninety and nine, just persons which need no repentance. <laughs> That's beautiful. The point that was in verse four, I just wanted to read the rest, but the point was in verse four. All right. So if you call in for Mayday. Nobody answers you. Now you need to examine yourself. Right? Now you need to examine yourself. Okay? Brothers calling for help, but you get no answer. You get no responses. Then maybe you need to check yourself. Maybe you need to look into the mirror and go, man, man is that me? Is that is that me? <laughs> okay so you know hey you know that was just a little quick one you know i feel put that together you know just for brothers for edification's sake you know but first and foremost i want to give all praises and glory and honor to yahweh Bashim, yahweh shai Bashim, i recall kodash double honors to the apostles and that was a great millstone and we well peace and blessings and citation to the awful elect the bayah the house of david shalom and the bob of ball Stay strong, Kings.